Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video here checking out the leaked Android 4.3 ROM for the Nexus 4. Now the ROM actually came from a Nexus 4 that was bought on Craigslist from a Googler. I actually wouldn't suggest running this leak because it's a pre-release, it may still have some bugs. Plus we're probably going to get the official version from Google in the next coming week, but nonetheless let's go ahead and check it out. So firstly we'll dive off into the settings and see what the about phone section is saying. So let's do that. About phone right here. Android version 4.3, if we tap this we get the uh, easter egg jelly bean, Android 4.3 jelly bean. One thing to note with this uh, this leak is it doesn't have the baseband or radio included, so those two things aren't updated. If we check out the kernel version you can see the build date for the kernel is actually more recent, so June the 13th. And that pretty much means that we're running a new kernel than what we had before, so you might get a slightly better performance and stuff like that. Build number is, that is the same build number as what we got on the Google Edition devices, so it is consistent with Android 4.3. And yeah, in terms of UI changes, there really isn't much difference. We've got those new options in the uh, development options, for example, the profile GPU rendering. But it seems like Android 4.3 really is just a kind of under the hood changes, you know, just something that everyone can catch up on. Nothing major. In terms of the performance, we have that new kernel version. I do feel it is a little bit more snappy. I don't know, it just seems to open the apps a little bit quicker. I'm not sure, again, if that's a placebo effect or what, but it does just feel a little bit more snappy to me. I'm, again, I'm not really sure on that. In terms of other changes, we've got, if we open up Android System Info and go to the Features section, we saw this on the Google Edition Android 4.3 leak. Android hardware Bluetooth LE so it looks like we do have that low energy Bluetooth support which is going to save us a lot of power when you're using your Bluetooth devices so that's pretty awesome. In terms of other changes I've noticed there are some small ones obviously we've got that new camera that we uh, had on the uh, Google edition devices we've got that now on the Nexus. There's also a slight change in the dialer and you have to actually go into settings and apply this because it's not on by default. Dial pad autocomplete. I don't think that's there in Android 4.2.2. Once you uh, press this, you can start writing your numbers, and you can see numbers pop up here. And you can I've blurred them out so you can't kind of see and ring my friends, but you can see here the numbers do pop up. So that's a nice little addition there. And some people were saying the font is slightly different, and also the camera here, the camera, the uh, clock. Now the clock does seem a little bit different to me, I'm not sure if they've slightly redesigned the font or something, but something about the clock does feel a little bit different, I'm not 100% sure on that again, but yeah, that's <laughs> really that's all I've noticed guys, it's not worth dropping your custom ROM for and jumping to this ROM, it really isn't, just wait for like Paranoid Android or your ROM developers to incorporate the changes in Android 4.3, that would be my suggestion, but yeah, Android 4.3 guys, peace out.